In this video I'm going to cover what's known as parameter queries in Access. Um, essentially all that is is if you want to find a list of records between two values, for example a list of orders between a price range of $100 and $500, you could enter a criteria of a from amount and a to amount. In the same way if you wanted to find so many records between two dates you could enter a starting date and an end date and Access would filter out records based on your criteria. So I'll show you how to do that. If we click on queries I'm using the Northwind database that comes with Access for this example. So I click on queries then click on new. Um, we want design view and I'm going to select the tables, customers, order details and orders. From the customers table, I'm going to select company name. From the orders table, I'm going to select order date. And from the order details table, I'll select unit price and quantity. If we run that query now, we can see that Access returns 2,155 records. Um, we actually want to filter them on order date, so we want to show a subset of data. So now if we go back into design, and we expand order date a little bit and in the criteria line just under order date we want to type in the following type in the word between this is not case sensitive by the way type a space open a square bracket and I'm going to enter enter first date close the square brackets, space, type the word AND, open square bracket, enter second date, close the square brackets, and that's our criteria now set. So if we run the query now, Access brings up a little box here saying enter first date, which is what we typed here, enter first date in square brackets. So we'll type in 01079094. Click OK. Brings up another box saying enter second date, which is what we typed in in the criteria here for the second part. And I'll put in 01109094. Click OK, and now Access has come back with a subset of data, 128 records to be precise, and it's given us a list of records between the date range that we specified in our query. So that's a quick example of how to do a parameter query within Access.